Hello everybody, welcome back to the fourth episode of Minecraft Hardcore. In the last episode we got, <clears throat> um, well, we began with this and we began with that and then as you had just seen we added in these mark stalls and these beautiful custom trees expanding the harbor much further along and it is <clears throat> beginning to come together and I know that I ended last episode prematurely so what I wanted to do so I wanted to make a barn I wanted to make a massive wool farm however I went to the end and that kind of completely changed all of my plans so in today's episode we are gonna be getting completely back on track and we have um, a special building that I want to do <clears throat> but I'm gonna need more resources and I do apologize I have been sick recently and I am currently a little sick so if I do sound a little weird I, I do apologize in advance oh and the area looks so good the area looks perfect oh I love this this is really coming together now so what I am going to begin off with today's video is that off camera even though of course as you can tell I've definitely been doing work um, I am going to be putting in a honey farm and it's gonna be right here then we're gonna be continuing on the expansion of this side and we're going to be making a tavern probably up here on this hill and we might even be terraforming this entire hill face right here to where we can then add in some new structures and some pretty cool stuff here <clears throat> and then we're gonna go all the way back there to uh, close to the iron farm if if I have time for it because last episode I said I was going to do that and I didn't but we will be making the largest farming area that you can imagine this entire section will be completely transformed into massive <clears throat> into a massive farming area if I have oh my goodness so uh, off camera what I decided or what I did was that I went around and I searched for some bee nests of course these have some but these don't so that means we're gonna need to make a quick little bee sanctuary we're gonna need some campfires and such and then we're going to start breeding up all of the villagers and as you can see, I did a little bit of exploring, of course, and I found some mud, I got some dripstone, I got a lot of different junk all in my inventory. I do have this really oh, important weakness potion, which I'm definitely going to be using, but guess what? We got this one. Definitely, probably one of the worst. But we have our first goat horn of the world, which is pretty cool. So let me get, uh, put all of this stuff around here. But basically, everything is going really just according to plan. And I really, really need to, uh, you know, fix up my interior. But right here, we got a lot of really good things. We got 24 shulker shells. We got an elytra. Oh, and another thing I want to do in today's episode is an enderman farm because we need the XP. And guess what? Soon, we're going to be having the 1.20 update as I am beginning this episode. It is now May 8th. And soon, maybe in a month or two, we should be getting 1.20. So I need to go mining a lot so that we can make the biggest and craziest thing for all of the new templates. And we're going to have a lot of custom armor. And I am going to make an entire armor stand statue holding all of the templates and and just so many different kinds of armor. And it is going to be crazy. We are going to have an absolute incredible time. And we're going to make a cherry blossom sanctuary. But oh, there's so many do very, very cool things I am so, so excited for. And then and the 1.20 update. But of course, I'm recording this on 1.19.3. Just so I can have my zoom, my optifine, and all my cool other stuff. But... <clears throat> We need to begin now by coming over here, and we are going to begin with a new location. And that is going to be for our bees, because we love bees. Who doesn't love bees? So let's begin um, and breeding, breeding up all these bees, and then we will make a beautiful and amazing farm. So let's go. 
So recently, I have been a little sick, and it's been probably around a week since the last time I actually even recorded on this world, or was even on it. We are still on, uh, we're on day 170, but I did a lot of mining, and I also found a little bit of amethyst, because, um, well, we did that mining because, well, uh, as I just mentioned, as I think I just mentioned, we have the new, uh, templates coming in very, very soon, and I have some really cool ideas for it, and we got, um, well, a lot of things in here that can be used for a lot of different colors. And then we got uh, even these. So we can just dump all this stuff in there. We have a lot of riches right now. And I mean a lot of things. But when it comes to mining, I really don't want to have to keep going back and forth between logging right here, breaking these two blocks, going right here, and then I just start mining down slowly. No. I don't want to, oh, I don't want to do that anymore, okay? I need a new, completely different way, and I'm thinking the best way that I'm going to do that is with a quarry. And you may be wondering, where are you going to be putting this quarry? I have no idea. However, <clears throat> recently thinking, <clears throat> I would probably put it somewhere right here, or around this area, because it is already, um... The land is already pretty raised up around this area, but then it kind of goes down or keeps it leveled. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is that I am going to <clears throat> terraform this entire area all the way around here. <clears throat> and then we are going to make a huge hole going all the way down to probably close to Deep Slate. And it is going to be absolutely insane. I am probably going to have to be pushing this land out or pushing this land back a little bit more. So I am going to have to uh, completely destroy this entire area. So let me fly up a little bit more. Yeah, all of this is going to be like completely torn out. And I'm going to be completely redoing this entire section into a massive quarry, which will help us. And then what we can do is make a blacksmith. And since we have the stonemason, we have a lot of stone things that we were able to, uh, you know, put all the way back into here. Which makes everything a little, oh, so much easier when it comes to storing all of our rocks and supplies. However, I have a very, very difficult way that I'm going to be... I'm basically going to be completely transforming this entire plains biome from there to probably, yeah, way out this way. And part of me really wants to completely transform the land as a whole. Like, completely. It'll probably still be grass, but when it comes to this, I have a very cool way that I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to need a lot of green and brown dye. We do have the jungle, which is out that way. And it's really not that far, but I really don't have the gray. I don't have the white. I don't have the blocks. I don't have the green. I don't have the brown. I need a lot of different resources if I want to be able to... Uh, begin terraforming this <clears throat> So that is probably my biggest issue So I'm probably gonna have to make a few new farms like a cocoa bean farm a squid farm and a lot more so that I'm even capable of even Beginning the new terraforming process that I want to do which will make this entire area so much nicer And it'll bring a little bit more life to this world so before I can actually begin the work on the uh, things that we have to do, so we have the squid farm, and then we have the cactus farm, and we have... And then we have, uh, well, we have to work on all this. I'm gonna need some sponges. So, my issue now is that I am going to need, well, I'm obviously gonna need more rockets, but I need to go and find a guardian monument. So, once I'm going to get some more rockets, and then I'm going to be flying around, I'm going to get some more puffer fish, and then I'm going to brew up some potions. So then, we can then find a location probably right here, preferably over here, uh, but it also could be down this way, uh, depending on where I think I should put it, because honestly, I have no clue. So, prob probably down this way, but... We now need to go find a guardian monument, but I also need some more rockets. So let me 
get some more rockets and I'll be back when we are ready to go and find that guardian monument. Okay, okay, that's not good, that is not good, there was a thunderstorm I just slept through and now my tree is burning down. Our tree is now cr oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, this tree is going down completely. Oh, man, oh no. All right, so I think I am basically all uh, as ready as I can be. We got the nine water breathing potions. We got respiration three on there. Probably should have, uh, uh, what's it called? Projectile protection. Um, I'm gonna grab a little bit more food and then we will be able to go out and see if we can find a guardian monument and hopefully we can go through it. I have TNT and some blocks and I got the redstone of course as well so that we are able to break through there because we're gonna have a difficult time just mining through because of all the mining fatigue. So this would also be yet again my first time going through a guardian, uh, uh, guardian monument in Java all by myself. Especially in hardcore, so if I die in this episode, well, well, we're gonna have to retry, but <clears throat> hopefully we, we won't die and we will be able to continue on because we have some great, great, beautiful plans that we have for this entire area and it should come out absolutely amazing. So, let's go on and let's go find that Toshin Monument. Oh, we found one, we found one, okay. Okay, this is probably gonna be a little difficult. Just, just a little difficult. It's right over there. Here, let me a little small platform. Hello, hello. I can't. You got it. There we go. It's right there. It is right there, and it is completely surrounded right now. So, what I think I'm gonna be need. I, what I think I need to do is I need to fly up. Then I need to put on this... Oh uh, yeah, you can't right click it. I'm way too used to bedrock. <clears throat> and then I need to build a small platform up. And then I need to find my way in. Probably through the front right there. Hmm. Huh? No! No! Oh. Yeah, that's an issue. Oh. Wonderful. Well... Four episodes is not too bad, right? Right? Huh. <sighs> anyway, you guys, I'm... I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong, and I... And I called it, I needed projectile protection. Ah, <sighs> unfortunately, we did, we did pass on... That does mean we will have to start again. So, thank you everyone who watched this series, and I really do hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed so that we can re-begin again. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.